<laughs> so, <laughs> how did you not see that? I don't know. All right. Well, as you guys saw in this week's Workout Wednesday video, I really have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to training for the sprints. Uh, but fortunately, I know a guy who does, and we're driving to his office right now to ask him if he'll coach me. All right, we're here at the University of Oregon in Tracktown, USA, and my good friend Jimmy Radcliffe has been the head strength and conditioning coach here for decades. Uh, he is famous for making fast people faster and strong people stronger, and I give him a ton of credit for transforming a kind of average young Nick Simmons into a world-class runner. In fact, when I started working with him, I hadn't really lifted much at all, uh, and he transformed my mechanics into a lean, mean running machine, and I went on to win the 2007 Prefontaine Classic. Um, so I'm excited. I'm, I'm a little nervous. You know, he just got done coaching the uh, the U.S. Olympic women's hockey team to an Olympic gold medal. He's coached Olympic gold medalists in track and field. Uh, he's coached more NCAA champions than, than you can count. So truly his resume is stacked and I, I don't know if he's going to get excited about trying to coach an old guy to run on sub 11. But let's go ask him and see if he'll do me a favor. Yeah, Valley. <laughs> this is that. How are you? Hi. <laughs> I, I, I've got a new goal. It's very foreign to my old body and my, my slow twitch muscles, but I want to break 11 in 100. Okay. Can it be done? We'll see. We'll see. I got to believe that it... Well, we'll see. <laughs> I've never been known for getting off the line particularly well. and then well. the hard part is the staying healthy part. Yeah. Yeah, at my age. Right. What do I need to worry about? Torn muscles? Yeah, torn ham everything. hamstrings usually, are, you know, because there's going to be a lot of torque. Yeah. But we can develop that. We can, okay. we can work through that. We're going to lift a little bit? Yeah, you're going to lift. And okay. You're going you're gonna to have to do a lot of sprinting. So, yeah. Blocks? Yeah, well, <laughs> you're, you're, not, you're not block. breaking 11 without blocks. So. I did 47.4 from a standing start in the 400. Does that not count for anything? <laughs> not the same. <laughs> okay. All right, well, will what, you work with me? What brought, yes, I will work with you. What brought you to this concept? Uh, what happened to climbing every mountain? I, I'm still doing that. Oh. Um, but the next mountain is Elbrus, and with the U.S. Russia relationship the way it is right now, it's just not recommended. All the tour, all the, um, the guides are like canceling all their trips. so. I'm kind of sitting around like, what's the next? Does thing? that have to be the next one, or can um, you skip it should that be. And go to the other one? It, it should be. Um, the next one would be like Aconcagua, which is like a you know four week expedition. I just don't have the time for it right now. Yeah. Um, but I just miss having some structure, you know, as you can imagine, and uh, just getting up and like I go to the gym and I kind of just you know lift a little bit and jog uh, on the. Uh, what gym do you go? The pure pursuit just down the street. Oh, okay. And uh, I just miss the structure of it, so I would like to get back to like training for something. Okay. Like, I'm not gonna set the world on fire running 10-9, but for me personally, that'd be a pretty cool accomplishment. Mm -hmm. So you'll work with me. I will. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So I got myself a coach, and with Jimmy in my corner, it feels like this is really happening. Um, if anyone can get me to sub 11, it's this guy. Now he says he's gonna take a couple weeks to think about how he wants to transition a 35 year old guy who hasn't run in two years into a, a lean mean sprinting machine. So in the meantime, I've got a pretty interesting idea for my next workout Wednesday. You guys are gonna to wanna to see this. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and thank you so much for joining me on this journey. See you soon. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Hey, one last thing, for those of you who are just dying to learn more about Jimmy's techniques for training athletes to be their best, check out his book. It's called High Power Plyometrics. I'll link it down below in the show notes. And also, if you're really curious about what my lifting was like as I was training for the Olympic Games, my company RunGum actually has a free downloadable PDF called Lifting for Runners. Um, I'll go ahead and link that in the notes below also. Thanks guys, see you soon.